This video will show you just how easy it is to create your own Kahoot. To start off with, go to the Kahoot website, kahoot.com. From here, if you don't already have an account, you'll have to make one. And if you do have an account, then you can just log in. And you can just create an account with Google or Apple or Microsoft, um, which is what I do. So I'm just logging in using my Google account. Once you're all logged in, it's going to try to get you to pay money to upgrade to a different Kahoot. You don't need any of those upgrades. You can just go ahead and continue with the basic free version. Now I'm going to click on create up in the upper corner up here. And I want to create a new Kahoot. So I click on that and it brings me to this screen. Now you can start entering questions. So I'm going to start by typing my question in the top box up here. We'll start with what type of variable is favorite ice cream flavor. All right, now there's two options, two types of variable. It could be categorical or quantitative. So I'll put both of those down there and I can even throw in like unable to be determined or something. You can have um, two to four answers down here. And ice cream flavor, of course, is a categorical variable. So you're going to put a check mark by the actual correct answer. Now there's different options for the quiz. The standard quiz question type is a multiple choice one like this. Most of the other question types you're going to have to pay the upgrade for, but you can do a true false type question over here. The next thing you want to look at is time limit. How long do you think it's going to take your audience to answer the question? This is a pretty basic quick question, so I think 20 seconds will be long enough. But if it's some question that involves calculation or something like that, you could change the amount of time that you're allowing your audience to have in this box right here. Once you're done with your first question, all you have to do is click on add question to add another question. Uh, so again, I can stick with my basic quiz, multiple choice question, or true false here. I'll go for another quiz question here. And maybe I'll say which of the following is least affected by outliers. All right, and here's my answer choices. I'm going to say the mean, the median, the standard deviation, and we'll put in correlation here. So the correct answer to this one, the one that is least affected by outliers, is going to be the median. The median is resistant, meaning not as affected by outliers. And so for this one, it might take people a little bit longer to think about, so maybe I'll give people 30 seconds on that one. I would continue adding questions in this same way until I've finished with all of my Kahoot questions. When I'm done, I come up here to the upper right hand corner, I click on done. I want to give my Kahoot a title. So I'm going to call this one review for test five. And then you click on continue. It's going to make sure that you've actually given a correct answer for all your questions. And now you're ready to go ahead and try it out. If you want to test it yourself, you can try test this Kahoot. Um, if you've tested it, you feel like it's good or you're just, you know, you're ready to go, then you can click on play now. So there's two options here for play now. Teach is what I would do is if I, if I was in Zoom or on the classroom where I want everybody to play together at the same time. For this assignment, we're going to be making a Kahoot and then sharing it with your classmates to play on their own time. So the one that you want to choose for this assignment is the self-paced learning here. So I'm going to click on assign and you need to enter in a date that is after the deadline for the discussion boards. I'm making this before the semester even starts. So, um, so there's not a lot of good date options here, but I'll just put in May 30th for fun and you can put in the time. Uh, the question timer, this means that it's going to put the, the times in that you put those 20 seconds and 30 seconds. Randomize the answer order. I usually always put that in there. 
um, because it's going to mix up the order of the answers in case you tend to be biased to putting the correct answer first or last or something like that. And then you're going to go ahead and click on create. So from here, it's going to give you this URL and the game pin. And this is what you're going to copy and put onto the discussion board to share with your fellow classmates so that they can come and play your Kahoot and they'll have a grand old time. And you can come back in and check in Kahoot and see who's played and what score they got and um, how they did on answering all of your questions.